everybody and welcome back to my channel all right so i'm back with another what if video and this video is what if the two of you were married you know what would the relationship be like what would the marriage be like rather if the two of you were married what would the marriage be like all right so i have four decks for you to choose from today this is going to be deck number one deck number two deck number three deck number four again deck one deck two deck three and deck four all right as always please take the time out to pause this video to see which of the decks that you feel that you really resonate with the most also as a warning all right so this is a what if video if you are asking about someone you are currently married to just got married to currently engaged to currently in a talk to marion on the brink of being married someone that you want to marry and you know a message comes out that you know you may not like the most you know um definitely uh i want you to keep in mind this is a general reading it is pulling from the energy of all those who are subscribed all those who come and view the videos the hundreds you know however many people view the videos whether it's one two three seventeen thousand it is pulling from all of that energies and definitely keep in mind that this you know is you know not finite you know this is you know general so um if you find that you know you are feeling a bit triggered or you don't like the message you know you could always pick another another deck you can always pick another one of the fabulous readers on this platform because there are several you know or you could just simply you know click out of the video um do what you need to do all right so without further ado um if this is your first time visiting one of my videos please hit the subscribe button and bell notification i drop videos weekly and yes i thank you all of my subscribers thank you thank you thank you so much all right let's jump into our reading with deck number one what if you and the person that you are put these over here asking about we're in a marriage what would the marriage be like Thank you, universe, for the answers. Tell us for those who chose deck number one. If they were in a, in a marriage with the person that they are asking about, what would the marriage be like? Give us the answers clearly, concisely. Thank you. Two more cards, universe. What would the marriage be like? That one flew out. Okay. Fill one more. One more card, Tarot. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. Can you see that? Queen of Cups, bottom of the deck. All right, so I want to pull some Oracle cards. Universe. What with the... Oh. All right, so we got attraction. What would the marriage be like? The two of them were married. Give me one more card, universe. What would the marriage be like? Thank you, universe. Bottom of the deck for you all. Worth waiting for. Let's see. What would the marriage be like, universe, if the two of them were married? Thank you. Okay. Surrender to the wisdom of your body. So intuitive. The two of you would be very in tune. That's what I'm picking up from that one. What would the marriage be like if the two of them were married? Universe. Ooh. One more. What would the marriage be like if the two of them were married? Dear universe. Thank you. Bodies of water. So maybe the two of you know, very okay. So with bodies of water, what I'm picking up at the bottom of that deck, you know, very fluid, you know, emotions, you know, being shared, very open, very flowy, you know, like open, free. No bounds, no boundaries. That's what I'm getting. All right, and last cards. Thank you, universe, for the message. Two cards. What would their marriage be like if the two of them were married? One more card, universe. What would the marriage be like if the two of them were married? 
Thank you. Bottom of this deck. New beginnings. So I had a feeling that this would come out. New beginnings. Okay, so let's see what's going on with that one. All right, so maybe this new beginnings is someone, you know, that you moved on to from, you know, maybe a bad situation. That's what I'm, I'm picking up more so new energy for those of you who chose deck number one. All right, so you have the Eight of Pentacles that came out in the reverse. You have the Empress that came out in the upright. You have the Justice card that came out in the reverse. And you have the Six of Wands that came out in the reverse. All right, and for the Oracle, you have Psychic Development. You have Unlimited Possibilities. You have attraction. Okay, I felt this one coming up. This religious factors. All right. You have surrender your fear of intimacy. You have surrender denial. You have um, Rhiannon, sorceress. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. So we have three spiritual cards. And you have be strong. All right. So... What I feel like, what I'm getting from what we pulled for deck number one. So, this may be something that, you know, what I'm feeling, okay, in terms of unbalanced energy, not that the marriage would not be balanced, because I'm definitely not picking that up. But more so, this is someone, you know, or the two of you would, you know, help each other come into balance. Or more so, you two would point out the things in each other that is not, you know, the things in each other that are not balanced, you know, that isn't balanced correctly. Um, definitely, um, I'm picking up a very loving energy, but very private with the six of wands in the reverse. You know, not that people wouldn't know that the two of you were married, but just a very private marriage. Um, I'm picking up someone maybe who, you know, friends and family would know that you're married, but you're not very, you know, not something that you're constantly showing off. Not something where it's like, you know, you're constantly posting pictures about what it is that the two of you are doing. You know, maybe people won't even know that the two of you are married until, you know, someone changes their last name on Facebook or someone pops up pregnant right here. Um, and then it comes out, oh, well, actually, we've been married for three years now. So very private and intimate marriage, like your marriage is being shared between um, the two of you. So with this eight of pentacles, so usually when I pull the eight of pentacles, I get, you know, oh, man, that's their lack of work that's happening here. But with this one, I'm getting more so that this is an easy relationship between the two of you. It'll be a very easy relationship between the two of you. And then look at the cards that we have that match. We have sorceress. You know, you're, you are a magical being, a person who can make, you know, who can manifest anything in their clear intentions. And we have unlimited possibilities. So what I got from this is, you know, this is a relationship, a marriage that you would really, the two of you would really grow in. You know, it's like I'm seeing the two of you bring out the best in each other. I'm also sensing longevity for some of you. Um, this is just, this is a partner for growth. What I am also picking up is maybe this wouldn't all um, be forever, forever, forever. <laughs> for um everyone who picked this deck what i'm picking up is some energy of some of you who picked this deck of someone that you have definitely moved on from you know um not that you you don't see them as a you know good life partner but more so you know you've chosen a different path or chosen a different person in terms of you know maybe i just don't want to be with them anymore you know so something like that but the two of you would grow. There are, it's almost like I'm, I'm sensing like, you know, the benefits of like a business deal. Not that the relationship would be businessy because it would be a lot of love there. But there would be, you know, a lot of, you know, chance for advancement, <laughs> um, if that makes sense. You know, the two of you will grow. So we do have the three um, spiritual cards too, even with the unlimited possibilities. Psychic development, the sorceress and religious factors right here so this is someone so i'm picking up for some of you maybe this is so maybe you're married to someone spiritual this is someone who you know gets you you know into a spiritual environment you know a church you know of some sort or um you know just some type of um you know or maybe you know you are of a certain faith and, you know, this is someone who's also of that faith and the two of you will grow stronger in that area or just being spiritually inclined with yourselves, you know, but definitely I'm just sensing a calmness that will come with this 
relationship, you know, with this marriage. You know, there's a calmness. There's a, there there would be a movement into balance, you know, with this justice card. You know, it's almost like you know, karmic ties would be healed. This would be a very strong relationship. Um, this would be us with the surrender denial. So what I'm getting with surrender denial, I'm picking up more so for those of you who chose this deck. You know, stop denying how you feel about that person. That's crazy. Um, and even with this attraction, you know, stop denying, you know, your attraction to this person or else, you know, why else would you be wondering what would a marriage be like between the two of you um, if you weren't attracted, if you weren't in denial about, about your feelings? Thank you, universe. And I'm also hearing maybe you should tell them, thank you, universe. Maybe you should let them know how you feel. But definitely um, this would be a relationship where, you know, it's very strong. It would be easy going it would be a private relationship you know not private as in hidden but you know definitely the outside world would not be let in you know it'll be a lot of growth here we go growth you know a lot of beauty you know um children will materialize from this relationship and it will come to bring the both of you into balance because maybe something you know with the two of you maybe intimacy issues were something that you know your partner had or you had before coming together um but definitely you know it would be a lot of, it'd be very intimate, you know, this would be a relationship where, you know, where's this six of wands in reverse, it'd be very intimate, it'd be very, you know, between the two of you, but definitely for some of you, I would, I am hearing that, you know, this would, this would not be a relationship for forever. Um, and maybe for those of you, if this relationship did not last forever, you would be done with, you know, marriage after that, you know, not because you were like jaded from marriage, but more so because, you know, that's just what I'm picking up for some of you. Um, as I said in the beginning of the video, this is pulling from all different energies because definitely some of you are asking of someone you know, that you have no intentions on being with anymore. So I believe that's where I'm getting the energy of, you know, this marriage wouldn't ultimately be forever, forever, but it will be very long lasting. All right. Thank you to those of you who chose pile. I mean, pile. You all I am so used to doing piles. Um, thank you to those of you who chose deck number one. Let me know in the comment section um, how that resonated, if that resonated, um, if you got anything out of that, if so, what? Let me know. If you like a personal reading, you know where my information is. Um, and yes, let's move on to our next pile. <laughs> I keep saying piles. Our next deck, deck number two. Universe, for those who chose deck number two, what would marriage be like between them and the person that they are asking about? Give us the answer clearly, concisely. Thank you, universe. Give us three cards. What would marriage, what would marriage be like? They were married to the person that they are asking about. Okay. Did I want that many cards? I'm actually going to keep those cards. I'm going to keep those cards. All right. Thank you, universe, what would marriage be like between the two of them? Okay, I'm only feeling one from that deck. We have Undying Love that ended up at the bottom of the deck. I'm only feeling a tool, one oracle or for two. Okay, let's see. We got Surrender to Creativity. So maybe, you know, there's some, you know, children involved or someone who wants children or someone who, you know, maybe was apprehensive about having children or maybe could not have children. So, you know, that's where the apprehension comes from. All right. Let's give us one more card. What would this marriage be like if the two of them were married? What would the marriage be like? The two of them were there again. Very soon at the bottom of the deck. So for those of you who chose deck number two, I'm sensing a pregnancy. I'm sensing a pregnancy. Someone wants to have a baby with this person or you have a baby on the way with this person. But I'm sensing a pregnancy. Give me two cards, universe. What would this marriage be like if the two... Of I'm also sensing that someone who's watching this is already married to the person and they specifically watch this video because they're already married to this person and they were trying to figure out okay is it going to be accurate so let's find out will it be accurate 
am I pulling directly from your energy? Um, but if you're here and for whatever reason you're wondering if you're going to have a baby, I am sensing there's going to be a baby. Um, deck number two. Give me one more card, universe. What would marriage be like? Give me those two. All right. We have, what is that? Reunion of souls. Okay, so that could be with somebody from the past. No, there's a baby. There's a baby. I'm picking up baby vibes. All right, so we have retreat. Someone's going to be taking off of work. Inner journey. We have burden. All right, we have give your relationship. Put these cards over here. We have give your relationship a chance. We have romantic feelings. We have surrender defensiveness. We have surrender to the magic of who you are. Trust. We have surrender comparisons to other people. We have surrender the idea that you can fix someone. Um, we have leap of faith. And for the tarot in terms of how would the relationship be. As well, we have the Hermit in the reverse. I mean, I'm sorry. I said the Hermit. We have the Hermit in the reverse. King of Swords in the upright. Four of Swords in the reverse. Six of Staffs in the reverse. Three of Cups in the upright. Will of Fortune. All right. So, okay. What I'm getting is a very non-traditional marriage for some of you in terms of what this marriage would be like like somebody got married in vegas like and when i say non-traditional like like in the sense of maybe someone's not you know maybe the two of you got tattoo rings maybe it's a situation where you know like it's definitely a monogamous relationship that i'm picking up but it's like it's going against or it's not in the way of what the two of you saw marriage to be when you were growing up. It's like marriage on your own terms. Um, I said King of Swords. I meant Knight of Swords. With this Knight of Swords, um, there is, you know, definitely a lot of open communication with the two of you. Maybe some of that open communication is, you know, um, I want to say arguments, but bickering debates. Um, but, or, and maybe this is someone with this Four of Swords in the reverse that, you married quickly, someone who was from the past that you married quickly. That's what I'm getting to with this leap of faith. Um, I'm picking up a, a situation where the two of you maybe were together for only three months or maybe someone came back from the past. I'm picking up more so newer energy, but maybe uh, someone, you know, came back from the past and you married them, you know, quickly after that. But I'm definitely picking up newer energy. I keep picking up a baby, you all. Uh, maybe, you know, we got this three right here. Uh, we also have burden. You know, not that babies are burdens, but, you know, you, you take on the burden of now, you know, taking care of another human being, you know. So, you know, maybe you got married because the two of you, you know, had, you know, become, you know, you got pregnant or your person got pregnant or you met them, they were pregnant or they had a very young child. You know, I'm picking up a very young, young child, you know, someone, you know, that that, that isn't, you know, self-proficient yet. Um and definitely like with this will of fortune and this leap of faith, you know, this was you taking a chance on this relationship. And this is this is where I'm getting this non-traditionalist, um, you know, sense in where it's like, you know, the two of you took that leap of faith. The two of you said, you know, OK, let's just do this and see what happens. Um, we have the nine of staffs in reverse. So, yeah. So this is someone I'm getting at, you know, it's like you don't. You did not want your defenses were down with this person. You did not want to fight them off. You did not want to fight the relationship off. Maybe this is um someone who gets you um open, you know, like I feel like too, when you met this person, maybe what made you, you know, want to marry them soon, you know, or for some of you, because I am picking up that remember I told you, picking up that some of you are already married to this person. What made you want to marry this person soon is because, you know, they they made you, you know, it's like they opened up trust in you. Um, I'm hearing like for the first time, you know, you decided not to nitpick at someone, you know, the parts of which you wish that they, they, you know, this defense, surrender defenses, defensiveness. And there you go. That nine of 
uh, staffs in the reverse. But yeah, this is someone who, you know, made you want to accept them for who they are. And that's that's where this hair from. I'm also picking up, you know, maybe in the non-traditional sense, um, I'm also picking up, you know, maybe this is a same-sex relationship. And, you know, of course, it's not that, you know, same-sex relationships are non-traditional, but in the sense of maybe you live somewhere in a world where, you know, um, it's not, you know, very open, you know, or maybe you come from a family where it wasn't very open and widely accepted, you know. I Thank you, universe. I'm picking up somebody. It's like you stepped into your truth for some of you, you know. Uh, for some of you, maybe you've been married to the opposite sex before and then you fell in love with the person that you're marrying now, you know, or want to be married to now or in a relationship with now. Um, and, you know, it was, it was very different for you, you know, surrender, you know, comparisons to other people, you know, surrender, comparing them, you know, it's like they changed. I'm picking up like, this is someone new who like just really changed your perception of love. Like you didn't know that you can love like this, or you can love someone, you know, who essentially did not align with your past life or with your family's beliefs or with your religious beliefs or with just anything that just represented you or what you thought to be you, you know. Um, surrender to the magic of who you are like this person opens you up and, and and that's what I'm sensing like this is someone if you are married you two got married very quickly um, and it could be that a baby is on the way a baby is involved or you know this or this goes you know this is different from what you know growing up you know for some of you I'm sensing that you know this could very much so you know be uh, you know a same-sex romance um, in a sense of you know because it's not what you're used to seeing or used to or, or this is not you're not used to being in a relationship you know with someone of the same sex and it's like you know I never knew I could just you know that the person I'd marry would be them so I'm sensing that too you know like it's like you found like once again I'm getting that whole new world <laughs> the Latin you know whoever this person is whether you know however the relationship is you know it's like they just opened you up to just you know they have you wide open you know give your relationship a chance you took a leap of faith you took a little faith, um, romantic feelings, inner journey. Yeah. For some of you, you know, if this is a situation where, you know, this, this is, you know, a situation where you are married to someone that, you know, and is gone or you are with someone currently or you are interested in someone. And it's like you're currently wondering, like, OK, where did that? I didn't know this had you on your inner journey. But definitely this retreat that came out, there's a baby that's coming into the mix. Like this is someone you have a lot of fun with. You know, and maybe a lot of fun with, but there's a baby that's coming into the mix. And, you know, if it's a situation where, you know, you are in a um, same sex relationship, you know, um, where the two of you, there's a baby, you know, like either there's a surrogate, you know, or some, I'm hearing someone's sister is, is carrying a child or there's a baby that's definitely, or there's an adoption that's coming or, you know, someone's pregnant, you know, you or your partner are pregnant right now, or you have someone pregnant. There's a baby that's coming. That's all I can tell you how that's going to happen. It's a baby. Um, but this is someone that, that helped you take a leap of faith. You know, it was brand new for, for the both of you in terms of feelings, you know, in terms of, cause I'm sensing someone who's very closed off and very private or very, you know, just non-trusting or didn't know what to expect out of life and love. And it's like someone that's just, you know, now open and, you know, available. And it's like, and it still feels fresh and young. Definitely with this Knight of Swords, I'm still getting something that's like fresh and young and new. And I'm not so much picking up this is a past relationship. However, if you are, you know, if you came to this deck wondering about someone from the past, that doesn't mean that it can't be, you know, but for those of you that this is applied, this is a relationship that you currently have with someone that's fresh and young and new. And it's like you've already been talking about uh, marriage and it's like, OK, let's do it. Let's take this leap of faith. All right. All right, everyone. So thank you for your energy. Let me know if I, you know, if I was on target or far from the base. Um, let me know. Let me know how you felt, um, how that resonated in my comment section. And if you would like to know more concerning, you know, your personal life, you know what to do and you know where to go. Hit that description box. All right. Um, so moving on to pile did i put on my cards okay yeah moving on to not pile deck number three what if the two of you were married what would the marriage be like thank you universe 
give us exactly four cards universe what would their marriage be like if the two of them were married thank you for the message dear lord give me three more cards what would the marriage be like if the two of them were married what would the marriage be like if the two of them were married We have Six of Cups at the bottom of this deck. Move all these random decks out of my way. All right. Universe, what would the marriage be like if the two of them were married? Give me, I mean, I feel like, give me one card. Give me two cards. Maybe it should be like the two of them. Mary, we have my car, universe. We should show tonight. Mother Earth. At the bottom of that deck, we'll see what that's gonna be in relation to. What would the marriage be like? The two of them were married. On my car. What would the marriage be like if the two of them were married? Okay. Transformation. At the bottom of this oracle, and let's see, let's find out from the romance oracle. Give me two cards. What would the marriage be like if the two of them were married? What would the marriage be like if the two of them who picked it's pile number or deck number three, rather? What would the marriage be like if the two of them were married? Bottom of the deck, true love. And surrender cards. What would the marriage be like? The two of them are married. What would the marriage be like? The two of them are married. Fill in three cards. Give me one more card. Nope, that's it. Bottom of the deck ended up being surrender negative thinking. All right, so let's see. For those of you who chose deck number three, what would your marriage be like if the two of you were married? So we have Ascension. Okay. All right. We have Ascension and Transformation at the bottom of the deck. Let's see if you can see that. We have Anger. But more so with anger, I'm getting passion with that, you all. We have start delegating, start asking people, you know, to help you out, um, help you doing things, unconditional love. And we have true love at the bottom of our romance oracle. And we have boundaries. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is nice. Stay optimistic about your love life. Put that in view. Let your friends help you decide. So I'm picking up definitely a, a relationship. And we have six of cups at the bottom of the deck. So a relationship, either this is a friend um, from the past or someone or because or, the six of cups is at, is, at a rever is in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So this is either a friend from the past that you, you know, were at odds with, you know, things broke off and you came back together in love. Or, you know, you know, this is someone, an ex from the past where, you know, things broke off. You rekindled a friendship and it turned into love. Surrender to miracles. Surrender to creativity. So definitely what I'm picking up for those of you who chose um, deck number three so far, I am picking up an ex situation. This is someone that you're inquiring about who you were once in a relationship with. You know, definitely there was a lot of anger. In relation to, you know, maybe what they did to you, I am picking up maybe there was cheating in the past, you know, there was some, you know, um, definite uncertainties, but, you know, some infidelities, you know, some deceit, some lying. I'm picking up an immature energy in the past, but this person, you know, maybe you're dating now or maybe you're seeing, you know, uh, maybe if you're asking about what would marriage be like to this person, you know, this person will mature or has maturity. You can see from afar. Let's see. You have with the tarot, the sun and the upright. Two of Pentacles in the upright. So, yeah. Where's the boundaries? We have boundaries. Page of Cups. So, yeah. Someone young. And the Seven of Cups. 
So what I'm getting, how marriage would be. Um, so definitely with Ascension and Seven of uh, Cups, this is so, it, it's almost like I'm getting like unlimited possibilities with this Seven of Cups. You know, it's like, because I am picking up that those of you who chose deck number three, you more so may probably be asking of someone from the past, you know, versus someone, you know, from the present or someone from the future even, or, you know, someone you're not even with. Um, this is someone I do feel that you've had a connection with, you know, maybe longer than those who picked deck number one and deck number two from the past, you know, and this is someone that you would like to rekindle things with. Maybe you've been asking your friends about it, you know, maybe you've been seeing change or maybe you're the one who changed and you are, you know, trying to stay optimistic, like, you know, maybe this thing can happen. I am picking up that for some of you, you are back in communication with this person and, you know, this is bringing out that anger there you know and that you are trying to make a decision should i give this thing a chance should i not but definitely what i'm seeing with the sun this would be a very successful relationship thank you universe and what i'm picking up is the reason why to be a successful relationship is because of the past because of what you went through with this person before because everything went wrong in the beginning if this is someone from the pa from the past this is why you know this would be a relationship where boundaries would not be crossed because this person knows not what not to do this person knows okay if i do this to them she's gonna leave me he's gonna leave me if i tell her that you know um i was sleeping with other women she's gonna leave me you know he you know he who's coming back knows he who's coming back knows what not to do this time or you know what not to do this time it's like thank you universe i just heard a fresh new start and start delegating you know so what i am picking up too maybe there was some you know one side of love or or maybe you felt like you were doing most of the work in your relationship for some of you you are asking about a brand new lover and you felt like in the past you were doing most of the work in your relationships but this time around you know it, this is more so i'm getting clear communication this is you know you opening up and saying i don't want to be the only one picking the movies i don't want to only be the only one picking the dates you know or i don't want to be the one that's paying for everything reaching for my wallet you initiate you know be kind to me, you know, pan for your wife. If you're a guy looking at this, you know, I don't want to be the one that's always initiating, you know, because y'all know how I feel about women, you know, and I love us, you know, but we are, we, we do not pay. We do not do the courting. Okay. Um, but yeah, but even then, so maybe you were someone who was stuck in a relationship or settled for someone where it's like, you know, you were paying for all the dates or you were paying for the dates. Cause once again, you know, you're courting me you know hey and i know you know as new wave as i am as i can be but yeah anyways so back to this though you know and maybe you you know you you found a guy where it's like you you put yourself you know at a point where it's like okay i'll give this guy a chance but you were living a lifestyle where it's like you were coming out of your pocket more than you you should have you know but now this is someone who's come back with a better job better opportunities like i'm going to take care of you surrender to creativity so what i feel like this is the coming together of the relationship you know like the two of you definitely with creativity i'm picking up that there will be kids that will come out of this marriage surrender to miracles this is a nod to if this is an ex you're asking this would be a complete turnaround i mean you would think you were almost married to a brand new person if this person was someone that was quick to anger they definitely would have worked on that. I'm hearing a lot of anger management, you know, just knew how to, you know, get this thing together. Undying love. This would now this. So for other other um for not other of the decks, but some of the decks, I was not picking up longevity. Well, the other two for everybody. But for the vast majority who chose this one, I am picking up. This would be a marriage of a lifetime. If the two of you were together, this would be a marriage of a lifetime. The two of you would be in the sun. Um, but definitely it would be based on, you know, the challenge of, will you take this person back? But this would be someone that has very much changed. And the reason why, you know, this would be a, a marriage that's successful, that's lasting, that's happy. Cause this is the sun. I'm sorry. Hold it up wrong. This is the sun that's happy. There's a lot of happiness and joy and peace there because it's like everything that could possibly have went wrong, went wrong before you either you know i'm not picking up someone that's divorced that can't but, but you could be getting back with you know someone that's divorced but this would be a situation where you let that person go you went out there you explored your options you you saw what else was out there in love you know um you dated you almost maybe married someone else and 
you know, I'm, I'm, for some of you, this is someone you hadn't been with in six years, you know, and you let that go. This person completely changed and now they're coming back stronger. Now they're coming back. Now they're coming back knowing that they cannot play with you. Um, so that's what I'm picking up for that. A very long lasting, happy relationship. You know, there's a lot of trust. There's a lot of, you know, there's no stepping over boundaries. There's a lot of, you know, just, you know, I want to say, for lack of better words, you know, equalness in the terms of, you know, hearing you out when you speak. That's what I'm picking up, you know, listening, you know, just the two of you being kind and tender towards one another and really making this thing work. Very beautiful relationship. That's what I'm seeing. So um, let me know in the comment section for those of you who chose deck number three, how that resonated. If that resonated, am I talking about someone that you were in a relationship with and reconciled with or on the brink of reconciling with um because i am picking up that those of you who chose um this deck in particular more so are inquiring about you know someone from your past and maybe someone far from your past and someone that you necessarily did not or do do not have contact with um or have not had contact with in a very long while so definitely let me know and as always, you know, I'm going to repeat this message. If you want a personal reading, look at the description box below and we can get into that. All right. So for our last deck, deck number four, what would marriage be like? What if, if the two of them were married, what would marriage be like, you know, between the person who's watching this video and the person they're asking about? All right. Universe, give me one more card. What would the marriage be like? All right, we got two more cards. All right, we got the Emperor in reverse. Let's see what that's about. All right, give me one card from here. That's what I'm feeling, universe. Two of them got married. Thank you. All right, we got true love again at the bottom of the deck. First, what would marriage be like between the two of them? Give me two romance work cards. If the two of them were married, what if what would marriage be like between the two of them? The two of them were married. Okay. Passion at the bottom of our deck. What would the marriage be like between the two of them? There we are, there we are, there we are. What would marriage be like between the two of them? Universe, I'm feeling two more. What would marriage be like between the two of them? One more. Okay, surrender obsessive thinking. All right, so those of you who chose deck number four, let's see. We have surrender negative thinking, surrender comparisons to other people, surrender divine timing to divine timing. Let's see, we also have burden that came out. Okay, we have integration. We have pay attention to the red flags. We have attraction. We have focused intention. So I am picking up, this is someone that, those of you who chose deck number four, is someone that maybe you really have, you know, a thing for. Maybe this is, you know, someone that's new that you've taken to, no, no, yeah. Someone that's new that you've taken to, um, someone, for some of you, thank you universe, I'm hearing there's not enough information yet. Um, for some of you, this is a relationship maybe that's been kind of eh, topsy turvy. Um, for some of you, this is someone that you are trying to manifest in your life with this focus intention. Um, yeah, focus intention for some with this integration. This is someone you're trying to manifest who's maybe, you know, you can see I'm not picking up that they're already in a relationship. Um, but 
that this person is just not relationship minded at the moment. So for the tarot, we got the six of wands in the reverse. We have the queen of wands in the upright. So someone that you're social with, someone that you're dating. Maybe I'm, I'm also getting a net, net Netflix and chill vibe. Maybe someone that you spend a lot more time with at home or within their home. Um, someone, a, a relationship of convenience or comfort for one of you, not for you, maybe, and more so not you that's viewing this. Um, yeah, we have the five of swords. So it's like, yeah, there's a sense of defeat and, 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 you know, there's also a, a, a sense of, there's a sense of feeling defeated. There's a sense of trying to defeat what's making you feel defeated. You know, definitely with this pay attention to the red flags. I'm picking up someone, you know, who I just heard it. Thank you, universe. Someone who doesn't want to be married, you know, like your person, you know, or maybe you don't want to be married even, you know, you're just looking at this for, you know, poops and giggles. But yeah, see right here, two of wands in the reverse. You're not looking out into the future or your person is not looking out into the future. And I told you I picked up not enough information yet. King of Pentacles in reverse. So what I'm picking up for those of you who chose pile number or deck number four um, is that this this would not be a marriage or this would be a marriage not last long. I'm not I'm actually I'm picking up this would not go to into a marriage. You know, I'm picking up that this is someone that you, you know, are really attracted to, really want to be with, really want this thing to happen. Um, however, you know, with this burden card that came out here, this would be a burden of a relationship. This is someone that the two of you aren't even talking about marriage or have not talked about marriage or or for some of you, you might have just done this for fun. This is someone that you don't even know. Maybe you did it, you know, based on a celebrity, you know. Sometimes I do, uh, I'll look at readings, um, uh, from other readers and base it on the celebrity, that I like, you know, and be like, you know, what would, it, what would have happened, you know, if Idris Elba had married me, <laughs> you know, um, and shout out to the both of them. Um, very beautiful couple, but you know what I'm saying? Like I'm picking up for some of you that you don't know this person or, you know, you're with this person and you can, and you definitely know, you can feel it. This person is not your forever. For some of you, I'm picking at, you know, you, you looked at this for fun, even though you know that this person is not, you know, the one it's like, but you would like them to be with this attraction, this divine timing. So what I'm getting for this is this is a waiting period, you know, that this person that you're asking about isn't even marriage minding, minded, this surrender negative thinking, you know, like, even with this, like, you know, but what I'm picking up with this is like, for those of you who want to be married to this person, despite seeing that they're not the marrying kind or marriage material yet, it's like you are eternalizing this. Like, I'm not good enough. It's me. It's me. It's me. And it's not you. Definitely what I'm picking up is them. And it's like, you've been trying to manifest the emotions within them of wanting to marry you. And even with that, it's like, if you are able to get that, I'm getting up a, a I'm getting a very Savannah James and LeBron James story here, you know, Google them about their situation. You'll see what I'm talking about. Even if you are to get them to marry you to, you know, to agree this, or even if you, cause some of you are, are looking like, should I marry this person? They're a good person, but you're not ready for marriage. You are not ready for that. And some of you are thinking to yourself, like, you know, okay. And someone's trying to manifest you. But even if you are able to get that marriage out of them, it's still going to take time. It's surrendered to divine timing. I mean, I'm picking up, it's all, it's, I'm picking up years, you know, maybe even two years. And when I say two years, what I'm picking up two years of you two situation shipping or two years of you two in and out and up and out. It's like, is it worth right here, this burden? You know, is it worth, you know, it's like you're trying to integrate yourself into their lifestyle now. I'm seeing someone who's changing themselves. You know, maybe you're not a partier, but you're going out partying all the time with them, you know, um, or you're wearing different clothes. Um, you know, I'm saying, you know, skimpier clothes. Like you're trying to embody their vision of what you think the perfect woman um, is or the perfect man is. And it's like it's not working and it's not you. It's just that this person doesn't want what you want yet. Um so yeah, and then even this surrender comparisons. I'm seeing you're like you're comparing yourself to Instagram models. You know, I'm picking up someone. You know, you're very beautiful, or you know, you're like, it's like you're comparing yourself to these standards of people that the person you're asking about don't even have access to. You know, or if you're asking for fun about someone famous, you know, it's like you know, even then you're you're comparing yourself to people that you know you don't know them, you don't have access to, and that might not even be their real life, you know, because we can facade and fake anything that we want these days, you know. But definitely with this pay attention to the red flags, this um, five of 
swords in the upright with the queen of wands and this is someone maybe you've gone out with you go partying with you you know you've had an intimate you know sexual relationship with i'm getting a netflix and chill though with this six of wands in reverse and this queen of wands in the upright you know but i'm not getting someone I, and you know if you're watching this reading in colder months you know maybe this is one of those cuffing season relationships even for you i'm feeling like a lackluster energy like mm. but definitely if you two were married the one i'm picking up it would not get to a marriage but definitely it would not last i'm hearing less than three months less than two weeks you know or about two weeks you know this would be something that would end in annulment um, but definitely I'm not even saying that it would make it to marriage. This is someone that's not looking to be married or you're not looking to be married, not even ready, you know, mentally, you know, maybe even if, and I am picking up, they could be a King of Pentacles type of man, you know, or King of Pentacles type of woman and have all of this, but they're not looking to be married. They're still in that playboy energy, you know, it's like, they're not looking for that at all. All right. So thank you for those of you who chose deck number four. Um, uh, let me know in the comment section, you know, um, how that resonated, if that resonated, and yeah, um, if you like something that pertains strictly to you, book me, um, description area, information, blah, 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 you know, all of that. And if you have a suggestion for my What If series, let me know. I do have another What If celebrity that's coming up. I'll give you all a hint. Um, it's a, you know, it's an actress. So it's a she, it's a she, it's an actress. It's from way, 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 way back in the day, you all. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for my next what if. I think it'd be very entertaining for those, you know, both young and, you know, older on my channel. I thank you all for your energy wherever you are. I hope you are at peace. I hope you are at love. Um, at love. Yeah. And, and love too. Let me know in the comment, um, section any more suggestions for what if videos, not just celebrities, but also questions too. I really love this. You know, what if you were married to them? What would the marriage be like? Let me know. Uh, how you felt about that and yeah until my next video i see you all on the flip side all right thank you so much uh, peace and blessings goodbye